So in iOS 16, in the Reminders app, you have a couple of very interesting options because you can share lists and collaborate within the Reminders app. So if you go like this and look up Reminders, you can see that it looks fairly normal, just like in the iOS. And you can, in fact, use iCloud and share a list uh, of these things with other people. So if you click on list, here is the reminder, which I have it here. I can also create a new one. So let's say it's going to be whatever I want. So whatever in here so this is my reminder and now here is the share icon so of course you can click on it but here you can see in list and as a collaboration so you can see multiple people in here so if you tap on here you can uh, i mean you can see people you invite can add others so you can disable it as well this means that only you can add other people in here because you for example add your brother and sister in here and they can add their friends and stuff and if you want to prevent it it means that if you turn this off you are the only person that can add others to the reminder list and now it's it is up to you how you can uh, this how you decide to share it you can use it through iMessage email or whatever else you want to use everyone that you collaborate with must be signed in with their Apple ID and have reminders turned on in iCloud settings cuz we are using iCloud that means that they can get the, the updates as long as you add something in here and you get updates when they add some stuff so this is how you can collaborate and share your reminders and one interesting thing is that if you share the invitation you using iMessage, you get activity updates right in the messages conversation. So that's really interesting because when someone completes something, then you're going to be notified about it using that message. So it's really interesting. Uh, you can, of course, use notes and other stuff. Freeform it pretty much uses the same technology, but you can also do it within a reminder. So I just quickly wanted to share with you how it works. And But once you are in here and once you are connected with others, you can create a new reminder and, for example, assign it to that person. Or you can choose some kind of person that is supposed to do something. So you're going to create a reminder and you're going to tap on Add and you can attack some people. Currently, I'm not connected with anyone of anyone in here, so that means that I cannot attack any other, but if I were connected, then I would be able to just tag my friend and say that this reminder is for you and he can create one for me and stuff, so we can work on this together using iCloud. So yeah, and of course, you and the other person need to have iCloud reminders enabled, so if you go to your settings, tap on your name, tap on iCloud, and you can see a couple of different things so click on show all and reminders have to be enabled or like you can see right here on my iphone so make sure to tell them that this has to be enabled as well on their device in order for you to be able to collaborate and share your reminders and stuff so definitely do that and thanks a lot for watching see you guys later in the future